Esri Maps for MicroStrategy allows you to display your MicroStrategy data on a map, making it easy to analyze your data visually. This video shows you how to insert a map into a MicroStrategy dashboard, add MicroStrategy data to the map, and configure the map for viewing in interactive mode. You can include one or more maps in a dashboard. To add a map to your dashboard, you insert an empty grid and configure it as a map widget in design mode. You can then add data from any grid on the dashboard to the map as layers. The data you add must contain at least one location-based attribute, such as state boundaries or longitude and latitude values. In this dashboard, you want to create a map that shows profit and revenue by state. First, insert a blank grid where you would like to see the map. Now right-click the grid and select Properties and Formatting. Select Widget from the list on the left. From the Widget drop-down menu, click DHTML and select Esri Maps for MicroStrategy. Now you can start to configure your map by clicking the Widget Properties button. You can change the default base map that is displayed by clicking the Change Base Map icon. This gallery of base maps comes from ArcGIS Online, and what you see depends on your organization's settings. Choose one that works for your data. Now you can add MicroStrategy data to the map. Click the Add Data menu and click from MicroStrategy to display all available data sets from the MicroStrategy dashboard. Select the data set and click Next. Now choose the location type that best represents your data. Choose the U.S. state location type to show your states as shapes on the map. Next, choose the column in your MicroStrategy data that stores the state information. Choosing Customer State will display your MicroStrategy data as shapes from the U.S. state's location type. Now specify what information will be shown in pop-up windows when you interact with the map. And specify how to display this information in the pop-up window. Profit and Revenue will be shown as currency. By default, your map will zoom to the full extent of the layer when it's loaded. When you click the Add Data to Map button, your data is added to the map as a layer. Your new layer is visible in the Contents pane. You can now change the way the layer is displayed. Go to the Layers menu to see options for visualizing and exploring your data, including changing the styling options. One way to style your layer is using metrics included in your grid. You can configure multiple styles for a layer based on different metrics, such as revenue. First, create a new style and give it a name. Now, group the states by revenue. And then choose a classification method and specify the number of groups. Next, change the transparency of the layer so that you can see the labeling from the base map. Now that you have configured the map, click OK to save it. You can now view the map you configured in interactive mode. The map is fully interactive. You can pan and zoom, click features for detailed information, turn layers on and off, and so on. You can also add data from ArcGIS to the map, or share the map with others in your organization.